So a lot of times I get asked, hey, Brian, you know, why does SolarEdge Pros decide not to install the Tesla Powerwalls? What's, what's wrong with Powerwalls? I mean, I hear about them all the time. They do have quite a lot of marketing, but why are they maybe not the best solution for San Antonio homeowners? The wait list, the customer service, and then something that the power walls do that we don't think is very efficient for the long term uh, with, with homeowners. Okay, so let's let's start with this wait list. Some people try to get a Tesla system in general, and when they find out that how, how long it takes before they can actually get it installed, they become a little bit upset with that. And we find that with the power walls, that wait list is, is quite a bit longer. And also brings right into the customer service side of things. So getting it installed takes a while, but also if you do have an issue when something goes wrong, getting a hold of Tesla and actually having that power wall get serviced takes, takes a long time as well. And so we're, we're hearing a lot of complaints with that. And then ultimately the last problem is, is actually a technical thing. And so the way that the Tesla power works is, let's say right now, today's a big sunny day, bright sunny day. If the power walls were totally charged up, what they would do is actually turn off the entire solar system and you'd be running off of the battery power uh, for, for a bit until it makes the decision to switch back. Now, whereas with these in-phase ones, what happens is because this is an in-phase system, the entire system all the way through is in-phase, all the way up to the microinverters on each individual panel is in-phase. If it creates a situation where it needs to turn something off, instead of turning your entire system off, it may only turn off one panel or two panels or something like that to get rid of the excess energy. And so that ends up being a bit more of an efficient setup for the main reason that the way that the power wall does it, it creates these micro cycles. And these micro cycles on the battery end up wearing down the battery and shortening the lifespan on it a little bit quicker. Not to mention the power wall does have a shorter warranty in the first place. And so that's one of the many, you know, a couple of the main reasons why we've decided against going with the Tesla power wall. Uh, the in-phase batteries and some of the other battery options are a little bit better. So ultimately what, what I'd like to do is have a discussion with you. Below this video is a link you can click on, schedule an appointment with us, let us know what, it, what your concerns, what your goals are, and we'll, we'll come up with the best fit for you and your family so that you've got cheaper, cleaner, better energy and backup power. That's right, there goes Jeff over there. He says you should go for it too. So click on that link right now and we'll talk to you soon.